Hello, Rock Eyes Relactor, welcome. Hey, Hey, what's up? What's up? How's everything? Can you hear me? Yeah, you're a little low, but I can hear you. Okay, um, it's now better? Yes, great, great, great. Please introduce yourself and uh, tell me what band you're from. Well, I'm an A and I'm from band Aven from Slovenia. Great, great, great. Uh, I noticed the band plays folk metal. Uh, in the United States, it's really not a real popular uh, genre, but but it's making its way. Um, tell me the popularity of the band uh, in Slovenia. Well, I think that the band is gaining in popularity right now in Slovenia. I think we're one of the um, most recognizable bands of the new generation right now. As far as folk metal is concerned, we're not really a folk metal band per se, but it's it's getting a pop, it's a really popular genre in Europe right now, I think, because a lot of people is are is listening to it. Cool, cool. Now, uh, the band started in 2003, but uh, you weren't a member at the time. Uh, how did you end up joining the band? Well, uh, I've met a guitarist's girlfriend in classes in, in college, and I said I play Irish whistles and flutes, and she said, well, my boyfriend might be interested in that because they were recording Castalia at, at the moment. Uh, so I went there, recorded a couple of tracks, and after that, we didn't talk for a year or something like that. And when their singer left, I played a couple of gigs with them, and we just felt the energy was cool, and I just kind of stayed. Cool, cool, cool. Now, there's seven members in the band. That's quite a bit. Yes. Um, well, uh, that that's the thing with uh, folk rock and folk metal is that Besides the normal uh, lineup with the bass, guitars, drums, and perhaps keyboards, you also have acoustic instruments, and we use uh, flutes and uh, also the fiddle in, in our band. Very cool, very cool. Uh, now you have two two releases right now, one in 2006, one in 2011, and um, are you about to release a new one? Well, we're currently working on new material, and if everything goes according to plan, we might release it sometimes in 2013. Uh, but yes, we are working on a new album as we speak. Not recording yet, but we're making songs right now. Cool, cool, cool. Now, how how'd you start? Uh, you know, your um, musical career. Did uh, you always start with the flute or whatever? No, I I played bass in high school. I, I played in a ska band. I wasn't into metal yet. Uh, I got into metal slightly later. I guess sometimes just before college, and then I discovered folk music and. I just started playing around with different instruments. I started on the on a tin whistle and moved on to flutes later on. Very cool, very cool. Um, you also have a new video out right now. Can you tell me about that? Um, well, the video is not really that new. Uh, the video is, I think, two, three years old now. So, uh, but yeah, it's it's a first single from Castalia. It's called Ross, and but. Uh, we didn't really release videos after that because there's no uh, TV stations that would really play this kind of music in Slovenia. So it, there wasn't really much of an effect from, from the video. And we just released singles for the radios. but And we had quite a lot of coverage through that. So uh, I don't think we're going to make a new video of Castalia, uh, perhaps from a new album. But it's really it, it's quite an expense to make a video. And you don't really get a lot of, for it in return. Cool, cool. Now, um, United States really don't know a lot about Slovenia. Um, can you tell me about the, you know, your homeland? Well, Slovenia, it's, it, it really is a small country. It's, uh, it's an ex-Yugoslavian republic, and uh, it's, it was the first to join the EU. We only have like uh, 2 million people in Slovenia. It's the population is 2 million. The language is uh, Slovenian. It's its its own specific language. Uh, it's somewhere in Central Europe. It borders Central Europe and the Balkans. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it borders Austria and Italy. So it's a, it's a small country, but it's quite beautiful. We have everything. We have uh, mountains, uh, seaside, uh, lowlands, everything you want in, in a small country. Cool, cool. Uh, can you tell me about the fans of the band? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, um I think I think the fans we we're just starting to get real fans. Uh, we had a gig in Ljubljana I think two three weeks ago and uh, it was incredible uh, because a lot of people are really fanatic about this band. It's it's we didn't re- we are not re- we are not aware of that until we are on stage. We don't really know that there are a lot of people listening to us and singing our uh, the older songs from the first album. Uh, 
And we, we are getting a lot of people right now uh, who really like the music, but we are not really a mainstream band yet. So cool. I don't know how to tell what to tell about uh, the the bands. Cool. Uh, how about uh, your influences? Uh, I, it, flute, uh, first thing that comes to mind for me is like Jethro Tull. But how about you? Well, for me... Uh, the flute part basically comes from from listening to folk music. Uh, I listened to a lot of Irish folk music. I don't know my flute idols. I would say are Michael McGoldrick, Kevin Crawford, uh, all of the big names in in Irish traditional music. But I also listen to a lot of different uh, European music from from other parts. Uh, I don't know from Sweden, from Germany, and I guess that's the influence. As far as metal is concerned, I guess the biggest influence. As far as folk metal scene is, is currently the band from Switzerland called Elveti. They're simply incredible. And uh, I don't know, I listen to a lot of different metal bands right now. No. Great, great. So. Um, tell me about the girls. Uh, well, there's only one girl in band right now, and uh, she's the fiddle player, Barbara uh, Uppel. Uh, we, we had a replacement violist uh, for, for this story because uh, she just Barbara just had a little baby and so she was taking a time off from the band but she's coming back now and we're really excited to see her again uh, but she, she, she she's the most uh, educated musician in the band she she did a master she, she's a master of music and she finished her uh, education in Austin in Texas um, h- how about um you know, um, you know, having so many people in the band, is there any conflict ever? Well, of course there are conflicts in the band. Uh, I think I think no band can really go with it without conflicts. We had a conflict about half a year ago, and we uh, replaced the keyboard player. But I think otherwise we we work very well as a band. I think the energy in the band is really positive most of the time, and. Uh, but yes, seven different people, seven different opinions. Uh, we all of us listen to slightly different music. Uh, but in the end, I think this is kind of a creative hodgepodge that helps us to uh, move on in our music and create something new. Cool, cool. Can you tell me about the writing in the band? About the what? The writing, the lyrics. Uh, uh-huh. The lyrics are uh, mostly written by our singer Primo or Anam, as he's calling himself. Uh, and I th- he, he does most of the lyrics, except the English lyrics were written by the bassist for the song Tarak. Uh, we, we are mostly singing in Slovenian because it's our native tongue and uh, we are most comfortable with that language. But uh, we are realizing now that it's, it's a language barrier for a lot of people outside of Slovenia because really only two, two million people speak it and it limits our market. So we might release a couple of tracks in English. But... Yeah. Was there any uh, major label interest in the band yet? Well, I don't think, I wouldn't say there was, uh, honestly. Um, we, we hope that we might get it for, for the next album because uh, we really did get a lot of mm, new uh, new fans and we also got a couple of uh, endorsements now for, for gear. So we apparently we are getting interesting for, for the company. So we'll see in the future if we get something. Cool, cool. Did the band have groupies like uh, uh, girls that follow the or guys that follow the band around from uh, every place you play live and whatever? Well, uh, yes, actually we do. Uh, there is one couple that is basically at every gig we do, and there are a couple people that are following us around. But I think that uh, we see new faces in the front row each gig we do. So um, there are there are those that are. Uh, that are constant, that we see them at a lot of gigs, but there are also a couple of them that we only get from a concert to concert, every time I, a new face. Great, great. Uh, what's the major goal for this band? Well, the major goal would be to, uh, right now I think the goal what we want to achieve is to be some somewhere a media, let's say a medium-sized band that we could uh, perhaps make a living out of it, but... Uh, so we would get known in, in Central Europe. If Germany is a big market. If you, if you succeed in Germany, then you're pretty much set. We would like to uh, have more tours, more gigs. Uh, I guess that's, that's the point that we are trying to achieve right now. Cool. What do you do in your spare time? 
Well, I'm, I'm still a student. I'm majoring in cultural studies right now. Uh, some of us have jobs, some of us have don't. So it's different for, for each member of the band. But I'm a student right now. Cool, cool. Uh, what are you majoring in school? Uh, I'm majoring in uh, cultural studies, but I did, uh, I have a degree in journalism. Cool. Do you have a hobby? Well, I have, I have different hobbies, but I think that music is uh, taking most of my time. Then I also do uh, some graphic design, but that's, that's more on the side right now. Cool. Do you ever play sports? Well, uh, I play soccer occasionally, but that's, uh, I don't, I'm not really a sports person. And I run occasionally, but that's it. Cool. Job. Cool. cool. Uh, when the band goes out and plays live and stuff, and uh, do the venues feed you? And what do you eat when uh, you're on tour? Well, it totally depends on the venue and the organizers. But usually, yes, there is something backstage to, to, to eat. Uh, so it's, it's not a problem. I, th- I think that people realize that you can't really have a hungry band playing on stage. Uh, that would be slightly ridiculous. Cool. What's uh, like your favorite meal? Well, <laughs> my favorite meal... Uh, I'm eating a lot of vegetarian lately, so uh, I don't know, uh, some vegetables stir-fried with tempeh, that's that's delicious. Very cool, very cool. Well, I wish you guys the best, and uh, you know, I hope you guys have success. Maybe come to the United States, uh, play a couple oh, of shows here. That would be great. Uh, United States is a market that I'm not really sure how to get to, uh, really, so, but hopefully, yes, that would be great. Very cool. Well, I appreciate you talking to me. I thank you very much. Would you like to say anything to the world? Well, come listen to our music and spread the word if you like it. That's, that's the only thing I can say. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you, too. Bye-bye. Bye.